Elizabeth Cochran Seaman, better known by her pseudonym Nellie Bly, born in Pennsylvania May 5, 1864, was an American journalist, writer, activist, and inventor who traveled around the world in 72 days and wrote undercover about her time in a mental institution. She began her career in 1885 in Pennsylvania when she wrote an angry letter to the editor of the Pittsburgh Dispatch, in response to an article entitled, What Girls Are Good For. The editor was so impressed with her writing that he gave her a job. In the year of 1887 she left Pittsburgh for New York City to work for Joseph Pulitzer's as the first female reporter at the New York World. One of the first things she did for the paper was to have herself committed to a notoriously violent asylum on Blackwell's Island, now known as the Roosevelt Island, by feigning insanity and became the first undercover journalist of her time. Her expose of the conditions among the patients, published in the journal and later collected in 10 Days in a Madhouse, prompted an investigation by the grand jury and helped bring needed improvements in patient care to correct the abuses that Bly eventually exposed. Her investigative journalism often led her to sweatshops, lobbyist conferences, legislature, and even jails. She became the best-known woman journalist of her time by tackling such issues. In 1998, Bly was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and in 2002 she was honored by the U.S. Postal Service with a stamp in the set, Women in Journalism. In 2021, The Girl Puzzle, by Amanda Matthews, a memorial art of Nellie Bly, was unveiled to the world where her first undercover story started, the Roosevelt Island. At the age of 57 Nellie Bly died of pneumonia on January 27, 1922, at St. Mark's Hospital, New York City. This is a two-minute introduction to Nellie Bly's life. Follow us for more stories about people's extraordinary lives.